Good afternoon all. It's Thursday the 20th of November and I thought I'd give you a quick peek at the greenhouse. It's getting uh, a lot fuller than it was. I'm just going to do a quick, just a quick update. So this is the spinach. Um, it's now going to flower. Um, they call that bolting. I can assume that that's because the um, greenhouse is a little bit on the warm side. Uh, and that's what tends to happen when things that don't like the warmth get hot. <laughs> um, Cos lettuce, we just got one left that I'm just picking the leaves off now. I really got to plant some more. Um, this is the arugula or rocket. It is now, oh crikey, bash me head, about um, almost a meter tall. And um, it's also going to flower. There's a flower right there. Um, so yeah, just picking the leaves off that and the chickens are getting a lot as well. Tomatoes have gone a bit crazy. I can't even get the phone far, back far enough to show you. Um, yeah, so this is uh, one of those heirloom ones. Here you know, focus. Uh, we got, look, we got tomatoes. One, two, three, four, and there's more coming. Um, so that's good. I've still got plenty of flowers on here, so we come and give them a jiggle still. And, uh, ooh, looks like that there. Gonna need to give them a feed. I haven't given them one for a couple of weeks now. Um, so this one as well. This is, this is, these are very long and bare stems in between the leaves. Um, I guess that's just the, uh, due to the variety that it is. Oh, another thing I've got to show you. Look, I've got visitors in here. These things, Christmas beetles. Shiny, big fat things. I don't know if they're eating anything. I have seen them on a plant, but it didn't show any signs of being nibbled. Um, this tomato has not got any tomatoes yet, but um, it's still growing bigger. Beetroots are getting a little bit crowded out, uh, but they're still going. Um, even the little tomato here in the back, that one there, he's um, getting a bit fuller. We have got, the flowers have um, dried up now, so I'm assuming that's going to be turning into a tomato, which is good. Um, those ones are about the same, no Marty's yet, but uh, I'm sure they won't be too far away. Silver beet looking a little bit sad. And this one again, this was the one that was well advanced and now it's a bit lagging behind, so yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, spaghetti squash, look at that, it's going everywhere. That poor bean in the back corner is getting squashed. Some of these leaves have gone a little bit crispy and wrinkly. Oh goodness I can't even reach it. So we do have a few beans on it. Uh, just a you know, handful. I had one the other day, tasted quite good. So that's all right. We're just trying that one, that variety. Um, spaghetti squash, we have got a number of females on here. One there. Oh, cool. There's another new one. One there, two, three, um, four. Oh, there's one that's due for uh, pollinating. Uh, there's another one there. Tomorrow we'll be pollinating. Four, five, I don't know. There's about six or seven anyway. There's one hiding. Over there, there's another little one there coming along. And this thing's climbing up the wall now. So yeah, she's happy. Um, the Armenian cucumber. Plenty of flowers. Heaps of flowers. Oh. Uh, but I see nothing at all that looks like females. Or would be fruit producing so I'm not exactly sure 
What's going on? Oh, that, oh, that looked like it might have... Whoops. Focus. Maybe that might have attempted to be one. Or maybe it is. It's still coming. So it's kind of yellow looking. Oh, Alright, we'll keep an eye on that one. So yeah, plenty of flowers, but just nothing... It looks very cucumbery. Uh, not on the other plant either. Now the purple beans. Purple beans are looking good. This little arm is stretching right out now, so I really got to get in and do this trellis bit. It's Thursday. I should be able to do it this weekend, maybe. And this one as well, looking healthy and stretching up. And over here in the corner, last one is the Jaredale pumpkin. And the size of this thing, the size of the stem, is getting a bit scary. So you think this thing's going to take over. But you know what? I think I can manage it. And as long as it gives me some really good pumpkins, it's going to be worth it. So, yep, that's it. Um, that was a not so quick, quick update. Um, thanks for watching. And I will show you next time what I'm doing for, um, for foods and, uh, and what else, what else we're going to put in next. Okay, talk to you soon. See ya. Hey everyone, I did a film on Thursday last week to show you what was the status of everything. And I just want to do a real quick update. It's now Monday afternoon. i show you how fast everything's growing. So this Jared Ale is already out the gate and racing. The um, peas are, beans are stretching out nicely. This one's fallen down, thankfully, because I haven't still done the thing. Still no fruits on the um, cucumber. We have a number of spaghetti squash. Nice. There's one there. There's one there. That one's a failure, I think. Here's another one, which I think we might have missed. Don't know yet. It's, um... Flowers died off, and the yellow top of it's going a little bit yellow, but mm, we'll see. Um, and there was a few more in there, which also missed out. Didn't quite get them enough, so... But there's heaps more females coming. That one's dead. Anyway, we won't worry about that one. Um, tomatoes. 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 Look at these ones. These are oh, about that big already. That's just in a few days. Four days. Things are cranking. So, uh, just giving them a feed of um, some power feed, which I'll have to show you the bottle one day, um, and some worm food. Uh, this is the spinach, which I had a clip of going to flower. Well, it's well and truly growing up now, really finished. So I just got to pick all those leaves off and put them in a the fridge, eat them. All right, that's it. Just wanted to show you this thing's um, going really well. I've got the 50% shade cloth over at the moment because we're coming into another hot week. And, um, yes, I just got to keep up the watering. We've, um, got a 5,000 litre rainwater tank, so I've just given them all a really good drink. And the mains water continues to dribble on them for 15 minutes every 20, uh, 48 hours. So, um, yeah, all good. See you soon. Mm -hmm.